We're excited to, to announce our two new hires. Our uh, new women's tennis coach, Ben A. Strike, comes to us from Warburg College, uh, has an outstanding background. Ben is very familiar with our conference. He's uh, got a proven track record of being able to, to build programs, and uh, we think he's going to play well into the future of our women's tennis program, as well as programs down the line here at Edgewood College. So we're, we're thrilled to have Ben here. And uh, bring him back home. He's a Portage boy, so he needs to back, be back here in Madison. So we're happy to have Ben here. On my left, we've got Casey Thousand, and Casey is our new women's basketball coach. Uh, we had over 300 applicants in our search some outstanding choices and it was obvious that Casey wanted this job bad, that she's been preparing herself for this job since she left Lakeland College as a player. She's had outstanding experience at McMurray and at uh, Carthage and uh, she's ready to take this on. She's ready to lead our program into the future and so uh, we're, we're thrilled to have her here So and back in this conference that she knows. So I'm going to leave it to these two um, and let them say some words about their thrilling New times here at Edgewood College, and we'll go from there. Uh, ben, why don't you go first? Fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I'm real excited to be home, basically, uh, back in the Madison area. Like Gail said, I was, uh, I grew up in Portage, uh, went to Lakeland, and I spent the last few years coaching tennis at Warburg in Iowa. And uh, the, when the opportunity arose to return to the Madison area and coach a, a, a successful team, a team coming off. Uh, National tournament trip. Um, I I jumped at it, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to have that dream come true. And now, now the work now the work starts. I started yesterday, and uh, you know I'm lucky enough to be sharing an office with the, the next basketball coach here. Um, and I'm, I'm real excited to spend uh, the next part of my life building the Edgewood College tennis program. Uh, Casey. They said earlier, I'm Casey Thousand. Um, I grew up half hour west of here in Barnabas, Wisconsin, um, which was very successful playing basketball there. Um, then I moved on and I went to Lakeland College, which is in our conference. Um, did Had a good career there, but um, I went to Carthage after that. We were successful there, and now I'm hopefully going to continue that success here at Edgewood College. Um, I'm extremely excited to be here, close to home, close to family, just like Ben said. Um, and also getting the program going again and hopefully taking over the next conference champions or players, our goals, so. yeah. Adam or David, any questions? Casey, if you could just take through, you know, when this job opens up and, and you know, you see it flash out there, is that a no-brainer? Is that instant that, that you go for it? And then... Definitely. Um, right away, I actually, I, the day that it was posted, I got about six different phone calls from people that said, hey, make sure you get out there, make sure you apply, and I definitely right away um, got my resume put together, um, put everything in it that I thought would be perfect for Edward, my, what I want to do, my goals, and everything, and I jumped on it. But your resume wasn't ready yet. You had to, you had to polish that up. It was, it was ready, but you know, we have to tweak it to make it you know, gotcha. look exceptional. Tell me a little bit about uh, your viewpoint on what this program can be, what it is right now, what it can be. Um, for me, just knowing the area, playing in the area in high school, um, it's a gold mine, I think. Madison, obviously, the community, everything here um, should be easy, easy to re give the recruits um, what they want. Coming from a small school, they can also be in the big city life. Um, I think. All I see is good things, and that's one of the reasons why I applied for the job. How much of an advantage is it that you, you're from the area, you play for the conference, and you, know, you can kind of give a first-hand account to you know, local kids what, what the experience is like in playing you know, for, for the conference or for the teams? Definitely. I'm, I mean, obviously from Barnabas, I still have connections with some of the high school area coaches, a lot of the AAU programs that are in the area um, from being a coach. Um, definitely want to pursue small schools. I think a lot of the schools around here are smaller schools. A lot of kids want to go to that. They just got to, when they're at Edgewood, they can also have the big city experience at the same time, and I think it's a huge benefit in both ways. You obviously played for a, a great coach at Barneville. What, what did you take from him? What do you, you know, do you, do you see yourself when you're coaching, saying, oh, it's something that Coach Myers would do, or, or do, you, do you see those similarities at all? Or? Definitely, definitely. Um, growing up in Barneville, 
being good, he always was all about the team aspect, you know, getting everybody involved. It didn't matter if you're the best player on the team or if you're number, I mean, in fact, in Barnabas, it was 15, 16, 17, you know, it wasn't a huge team, but um, it didn't matter what number you were. It was all, you were always important to the program, you were always important to the team, and that's a huge thing that I want to carry on. And Ben, you actually recruited Casey a little bit when yeah. you were at Lakeland? I, I have the, the distinct honor to uh, watch her career as, a, as an assistant coach at Lakeland. Um, you know, I, I, I think the, the exciting thing for me watching Casey go from, you know, uh, freshman through to, you know, now taking over her, her own program, um, you know, there's definitely a little, bit, uh, a little bit of a sense of pride. But, you know, I, Casey from day one was, you know, a, a natural leader, uh, someone who uh, played through injury, and, you know, I guess, you know, senior year spent every, every day probably about an hour or so after practice in the cold tub. Uh, just to make sure she's ready for the next day um, in between classes and film study and everything else and, you know, leading her teammates. Um, and, you know, for me, my, my favorite, you know, watching her go from freshman to senior year when we're cutting down uh, the net and the, the gym chanting, you know, Casey Thousand over and over again. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty great memory. And uh, that's, you know, for me, I, I kind of feel like Casey's someone that can, step into a program and offer that same opportunity and experience for, for the people she's recruiting and bringing into the program. So I, I, I'm, I'm proud and terribly excited to, to share an office with her again. That's, that's pretty great. You sort of surprised. Did you ever think you'd be, when you were recruiting her at Barnabas, you'd be sharing an office with her now? And well, actually, you know, yes. <laughs> that was kind of the plan, you know, maybe you know, ride her coattails in, in, in the sunset at some point. Uh, you know, that's one of the exciting things in, in this profession in, uh, uh, in being a coach is you never know uh, what that person is going to do, whether they're going to go on to be a, a teacher or a lawyer, a doctor, or a coach. You know, and that's one of the, I guess as a coach, uh, to have one of your players have such a great experience within the program uh, that they want to continue that experience and provide opportunities to, you know, the next generation of, of athletes coming through. Um, that's, you know, kind of a great honor. I, I know um, our, one of our mentors, uh, April Arvin, the, the former head coach at, at Lakeland, I mean, uh, Casey shared a story with me where you know, she said, guess who I'm going to share an office with? Right away, April said, you have to share an office? <laughs> oh, brother. And then you know, she said, well, guess who it is? It's Ben. And then, you know, she's like, oh, my muskies, you know, so uh, I, I know that uh, we're, we're really proud of her, and I, I think uh, it's just kind of an exciting thing to, to see it all come full circle, and, you know, I, I get a front row seat to watch, you know, what she does with the program, so I, I'm, I'm very excited about that. For you with the tennis program coming into a team that's been successful, is it uh, more pressure than on you, or is it, I mean, obviously coach wants to Rather take over a good team than a team that's you know at the, in the bottom. Right, right. It, it, it's it's. I, I think I, I heard a, um, a a football coach you know once say you don't want to be the guy that replaces the guy. You want to be the guy that replaces the guy that replaces the guy. You know, and uh, I'm coming in replacing the guy that took me to the, the uh, national tournament. Um, and so I you know I guess to some extent you do feel like um, the success is. A little bit expected, but my personal style is really more about um, not looking too far in the future. Right now, my main concern is making sure we have you know, uniforms and warm-ups for, for the first day, and then when we get to practice, it's trying to get the most we can out of that first day of practice to get to the next day of practice, and we kind of try to invest day-to-day, week-to-week, match-to-match, and I, I guess I'm kind of a in coaching as well where you ask me midway to the season what our record is, it's going to be 1-0 and or 0-1. Oh I'm more, I'm only concerned about that last match and improving to the next match. Um, and that's, you know, I, I try not to get too ahead of ourselves, you know, as far as um, we have to get to the national tournament. Of course, that's a goal we want to win the conference. Um, we want to advance as far as we can in the national tournament. Um, but we can't do that today. Um, right now, I can just get ready for the first day of practice. Casey, can you
talk a little bit about your coaching style and, and maybe anything that you're going to draw on with you know, the first head coaching experience? Um, well, first I kind of I would like to get to know my players a little bit and see what they can do and what they can't do. Um, coaching style is going to be a lot, I think, what I got from Barnabell, up and down, transition game, um, you know, hopefully throwing some presses and that stuff. Um, getting going up and down, but again, it depends on my personnel, it depends on you know, who I have. Ben, Casey, welcome to Edwin College. And, uh, and guys, thank you for coming today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.